Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multi-step equations. And we're going to solve each equation. So if I was given this equation here of p minus 1 equals 5p plus 3p minus 8. Well, my first step here is I'm going to combine my like terms on each side of the equal sign. So there's nothing left here that we can combine, p minus 1. But 5p plus 3p can be an 8p minus 8. So bring out that minus 8. So now I'm going to bring all my, my terms together. Well, in this case here, because I, um, well, I like to keep everything positive. It's up to you. I'm actually going to subtract the p to both sides because this p is less than this p. And then I'm going to add an 8 to both sides. That cancels out these p's here. Um, and the 8's over here. 8p minus 1p is 7p. Remember, that's a 1p. And negative 1 plus 8 is a 7, a positive 7. So now we have 7 equals 7p. Well, if I divide by 7, I can cancel out that 7, leaving me with just 1 equals the letter p. And I can rewrite nice and neat. p equals 1 first, right? Now, um, the letter first equals the number. And that's our final answer. Pretty simple. Okay. So let's start over from the beginning. We added 5p plus 3p first. We kind of simplified each side of the equal sign, combined what we could. Then I brought my p over to the right and my numbers to the left. That was a personal preference. It doesn't matter which way you try to do it first. You could have brought the 8p over and you'd have a negative. It's fine. So I had a 7p over here on the right. And then by bringing the 8 over, I got a 7 on the left. So I had 7 equals 7p. Then, divided by 7 to both sides here, opposite of that um, multiplication, I'm left with p on the right, and 7 divided by 7, and a number divided by itself is just 1. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. And then I rewrote this, have p come first, to give me my final answer of p equals 1. 